Hey what's up devheads and welcome back to devlog number 3. Today I'm thrilled to walk you through the creation of a custom level for VR Realms. I'll show you how we evolved from our initial ideas to a final product. Initially I toyed with the idea of a cyberpunk theme but due to the time constraints we opt for a more welcoming homey environment to serve as the starting hub. Down the line I plan to develop a lobby where all players can meet and interact. Luckily, my partner from Sketchy Realms, Dark Dead on Spawn, who is an incredible skilled level designer, has crafted nearly all the levels for Bloodbound, joined in to help and create this level while I contributed to his game, The Cult. For our starting home environment, he envisioned a typical layout with a living room, kitchen, and bedroom. We even managed to recreate a scene from across the Spider-Verse. Once he finished the design, we jumped into VR to test everything. The level worked well initially, but we struggled with CPU lighting, which didn't bake properly. After several attempts to adjust the settings without success, we remembered we were working with Unreal Engine 5 and decided to try out Lumen to leverage its capabilities. Unfortunately, this led to a significant FPS drop and noticeable lag on my Meta 3 headset, which caused me to get some motion sickness. We searched tutorials for guidance on similar issues and explored hidden settings and optimizations for Lumen. We found a YouTube channel called Gettin that taught us the ins and outs of Lumen within VR and from our overall observation we gathered that although we can go the Lumen route we eventually decided to switch to GPU baking for the map. But this allowed us to maintain the option for others to experiment with Lumen in a post-process map if they choose to delve into level designing for VR realms. I truly hope UE5 5.4 optimizes Lumen further for VR. Switching to GPU baking solved many problems, though it introduced some light artifacts on the walls which we fixed by increasing the resolution to avoid square pattern. Another hiccup arose when I tried to interact with movable objects placed by Dark Undead. To fix this, I had to create my own blueprint derived from the edible object classes that VRE plugin provided. We applied the mesh and swapped it to the level to ensure functionality. As I dive deeper working with VRE, I've asked Dark to design a garage space for me. This will be my playground for experimenting with various objects and creating new ones, primarily hosted within the garage. This will also be a workspace for me to create VRE objects with physics and experimenting with other VRE plugins. Stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more VR Realms dev vlogs. Your feedback and suggestion is valuable so don't forget to comment.